What's up everybody, I just got back from watching Project X in theaters. It's a little late, I wanted to see it when it first came out, but I had low expectations for it, I didn't really know what to expect, and I decided just, I postponed it, I was gonna go see it, and I postponed it, and I was like, you know, I'm gonna go see it tonight. So I went to go see it with my friend, just me and him alone in the audience. And like, I was a little worried because I heard people saying, oh, you want to take a bunch of friends and you want to have like a bunch of people there so you guys can all laugh at it and stuff. But it was awesome. Just the way it was, loved it. I didn't have super low expectations going in, but I definitely didn't have really high expectations going in either. I didn't really know exactly what to expect other than a crazy party movie. I heard that the characters aren't very likable and it's hard to get into them. It's being called Super Bad on Crack, which is definitely hard to live up to, but Super Bad on Crack is, in my mind, as soon as I saw that as the, the tagline, I was like, wait, but that doesn't make any sense because the whole point of Super Bad was nothing happened and it was awesome. So Super Bad on Crack would be stupid, right? Well, Project X is Super Bad on Crack. The characters are very similar to Super Bad. It's the movie's different, but it's a very similar style of movie. The characters, like the way they talk, the way they, you know, go around with each other, the things they do, the way they, you know, the whole party is a similar setup as Super Bad. The way, you know, the humor is and everything is similar to Super Bad, but on crack. But it's not like Super Bad. It's quite a lot different. But it definitely reminds you of them. The characters will remind you of characters in Super Bad. So Project X is about three guys who are outcasts in high school, they don't have a whole lot of their friends, they're not cool, they don't go to parties, and they don't know a lot of hot girls. So basically what do they want to do as high school students? They want to throw a party, get people drunk, and get laid. So Thomas, Costa, and JB, which I thought is really cool if they use their real names in this movie. Just like a shot on camera, you know, found footage film, which this is a, this is a found footage film, but it's not like other found footage films at all. It's definitely a lot different. I had a little bit of a worry going in thinking, okay, it's going to be kind of weird watching this on like found footage, but they do it really well. And you know, if you think too much into it, it's just, it ruins it. it just, it gets you into the movie more and it's entertaining as is. I'm not thinking about this guy falling around the whole time with the camera. I, I forgot about that. Like, two minutes in and it, it's unimportant. So JB and Costa want to throw Thomas, their friend, a birthday party. So his parents are going to go out of time for their anniversary and they use that cover to have the house to themselves, which is a really nice house by the way, the pool, the hot tub, and a really cool huge backyard and a nice house. So Thomas of course is a little worried about it and his parents know it's his birthday so he's going to have friends over. But they're not worried because Thomas is an outcast and he's not really cool. So they're not worried he's going to have like a huge party or anything like that. And Thomas is a little worried too because he doesn't want to have a gigantic party but Costa, his friend, keeps pushing him to basically have the biggest party you know ever. It's just more and more people get invited, more and more things you know happen like oh you know, let's get a DJ, let's get this, oh, let's invite this guy, he's bringing the booze, and you know, one thing after another happens. So after we get some story development, we get to know all the characters, get to like them, meet Thomas, meet Costa, meet all his friends, you know, his parents are out of town, he's invited all the guests. So it's party time, it's 9.30, Thomas is a little worried no one's gonna show up, you know, they're just sitting there playing video games, we're like, okay, what's gonna happen, right? We know this has got to be epic, what's gonna happen? He's like, we're looking at his watch, and then like the first cars pull up. And some people came and he's like, wow, all right, this is cool. And then more people come. And then the DJ starts blasting the music and the party starts going. And it's just like the most op like the most awesome setup for a party ever. This awesome pool, huge backyard, just people start coming in, right? And the party starts going and you're like, wow, okay, this is awesome. This is really cool. This is an awesome party. I would like to be there. So then the party really starts going. It starts getting more crazy where the girls are basically, you know, getting naked and people are getting drunk and stupid stuff is happening. And then more guests come. We've got the cool guy who pulls up with a whole bunch of girls. The girl who used to go to the school who's now employee boy is coming over. And like just more people just start pouring in, right? So you're like, this is cool. More people start coming. This is cooler. More people start coming. This is even cooler. This party just keeps getting cooler and cooler. I want to be at this party. This is the coolest party ever. Even like, even if you don't drink or party, it's just, you're like, man, I wish I'd done that in high school. That was so cool. And this party just gets you into it. It's like when you're in the, watching the movie, you feel like you're in the party. You feel like you're at the greatest party, like, ever. So, of course, it wouldn't be a party without noise complaints. So, the neighbor decides to come over and knock on the door and tell them to shut the party down. And if you've seen the trailer, you know what happens there. I'm not going to go into that. But, basically, stuff starts to go downhill. And you're like, okay, you feel bad for the, the main character. Thomas, it's his birthday. And he's like, crap, you know, my friends have dragged me into this. It's like, what do I do? 
well, let's keep the party going. So the party keeps going and it gets even bigger and it gets even cooler and more people come and then more people come. And you're like, where are these people even coming from? Who are these people? What's going on? So then it just starts to get crazy. Stuff starts to get destroyed and it just, it keeps building. And there's like a whole bunch of parts in the movie where you're just like, okay, what, dude, this is, this sucks. This sucks. You feel bad for Thomas. You're like, this sucks. The house is getting destroyed. What's he going to do? And then it just keep the party going. What else can you do at this point? Stuff is just getting trashed. There's people that are just totally wasted. I mean, drugs, there's just alcohol. The cops eventually come. This party just gets totally out of hand. But then when it's like completely out of hand and you're thinking, this is the most awesome party of all time. This is epic. This is absolutely epic. Then it gets even crazier. And you're just like, oh my God. This is insane. It's just insane. Project X is just a really insane movie. A, a really cool soundtrack just goes perfectly with the shots, what's going on. There's a ton of humor. It's really funny. It's really fun. If you like Super Bad at all, and you like teen movies, and you like fun movies, and you want to have fun at the theaters, go see Project X. It's just a crazy fun time. I felt watching it, I was like, I felt like it was in the party. And I was just like, dude, this is awesome. After getting out of it, out of the movie, I was just, I felt like I was in the party. You know, I felt like I was there the whole time. It's just a crazy ride. It's by no means like a fantastic film. It's not deep. You're not going to go home and think about it for days, except for the funny parts and the craziness of it. You know, it's a really great soundtrack, a really cool cast. It's just a very fun movie. I would recommend going to see it in theaters, get some friends together, go see it and laugh. It's hilarious. It's awesome. I loved it. Go see it. So if you've seen Project X, let me know what you thought. Was it better than you thought it was going to be? Was it worse than you thought it was going to be? Did you laugh? Did you cry? Tell me what your theater experience was. If you go see it again, if it should make more movies like this. I, I loved it. So please tell me what you think. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, everybody.